Welcome back to Autism Live and to Let's Talk Autism with Shannon and Nancy. Nancy and I are really excited because we love to bring fabulous young people into the studio who are inspirational and doing things that shake the world. And that's certainly true of this young man. This is Oliver Thornton. He is the creator of Coding Autism. And in just a second, we're going to talk very specifically with him about what his mission is with Coding Autism because it's big and brilliant. Um, But we do want to reference as a side note that Oliver was diagnosed with Asperger's as a child and that autism is something very familiar in your family. Um, But you are uh, an incredibly talented young man. You have your real estate license. We were just talking about this and now you have created coding autism. So I think we should start with what coding autism is and how did it start? Sure. So I'll I'll flip it. I'll start with how coding autism started and then I'll go with um, what we are trying to accomplish with it. Um, So coding autism all started. So as you uh, mentioned I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome when I was two years old shortly after my older brother was diagnosed with autism later on in my life my half brother was also diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome so autism is very prevalent in my life I've always thought about different ways as to how I can improve the autism community whether it's through an organization or through community service or anything like that Uh, When I was uh, at college, Cal Lutheran University, I was in a class called Venture Development where the premise of the course was to develop a startup concept that you would enroll into your university's new venture competition. And I took that as an opportunity to uh, dwell into autism further and read about it and see like what some of the problems were in that community. And I came across so many different articles that talked about the unemployment and underemployment rates of adults on the autism spectrum that would range between 80% and 90%. And I was just completely mind blown at that statistic uh, because as someone who's grown up on the spectrum and someone who has an older brother who was a little bit more severe but was still able to get his high school diploma and obtain his real estate license and have a successful Mm. um, upbringing that I wanted to develop some type of initiative that would combat that and flip the whole education model on its head so that we can train adults on the spectrum to learn a skill set that they can thrive and have a very uh, high career growth profession throughout their career. So um, we took Coding Autism, which is a uh, professional training and coaching company that trains adults on the autism spectrum in software and tech skills such as web development, software engineering, cybersecurity, quality assurance, et cetera, but also incorporating the soft skills training element of it from social skill building to career counseling to financial management, all with the hope of uh, obtaining employment within the tech industry. It's amazing, amazing. And so is it actually launched? So yeah, we have, yeah, we have the, uh, like the legal filing for our company. We're set up as a uh, for-profit social enterprise in the process of becoming a B corporation with B Labs. So if you think of your Warby Parkers, your Patagonias, or your Ben and Jerry's, or Tom's, those are all B corporations, which are, Uh, geared towards social impact and having uh, a business model that caters towards uh, causes like autism, for example. Um, We just recently um, launched a successful crowdfunding campaign on Start Some Good where we were able to raise just shy of $53,000. That's amazing. uh, Which is all that money is going to be going towards launching our first program, which is aimed to be around winter of 2000, or 2017 this year. And what will that program consist of? So that program will train up to 15 adults on the autism spectrum in web development, uh, some skills in quality assurance and scrum principles. Uh, well, as I previously mentioned, also incorporate some of the soft skills training from social skill building to financial management to real world career preparation and uh, encompass all of that to where we can help find our students uh, employment, whether it's internships or full-time positions within the tech industry. So you're really looking to set them up for success. Exactly. They're going to have the skills to be able to do the job, both the technical skills, but also how to, you know, deal with the water cooler and, and the different rules, social rules that happen. It's really a lovely thing. And we know that tech companies have made these statements, several big tech companies have said, we are going to employ this many people on the autism spectrum by this date, but they're having some trouble 
getting people in who can do both of the they sometimes they have the tech skill but the social skill part is hard and sometimes they have social skills but they don't have the tech skills is that what made you um, want to do this because you saw that need yeah so when i was originally looking at how to solve the unemployment underemployment piece puzzle uh, i came across a lot of articles that like you said some of the major companies like microsoft and sap and hewitt packard all launched autism hiring initiatives for trained adults on the autism spectrum in these types of skill sets from data analysis to cybersecurity to your typical software engineer and have proposed objective headlines saying they want a percentage of their workforce to be employed within their uh, company by a certain time. Uh, so far, a lot of these organizations are on par with their goals, but their biggest problem has been finding trained talent for these roles because hypothetically these companies want to recruit as many individuals on the spectrum as they possibly can but if they don't have the skill sets to be able to perform in those roles they can't do so so um i've been in communication with a lot of the leaders of those divisions and with coding autism where we're trying to come in is to provide that autism specialized training piece of the pipeline so that we can train adults on the spectrum in the a minimal amount of skill sets to where they can be considered for the interview process where then these companies have their sophisticated onboarding processes to pipeline those talent into their, their um, industries. Um, also, uh, with the tech industry, what's so fascinating about it is not only is it the most highly desired uh, profession for companies you're looking for your software engineers and whatnot, but also the entry barrier from an academic degree standpoint is minimal. You don't have to have your college degree from an Ivy League school to work at Facebook or to work at Microsoft or SAP. As long as you have the skill set to be able to perform in those roles, they're so highly desired that companies are willing to bypass any type of academic achievement. So when, when will your first class, do you think, start? When you'll have your first student? We're, we're aiming to have our first program take place around November of this year. Okay. We just wrapped up our uh, campaign and a lot of our goals are focused on refining the, the uh, program that we want to offer, uh, hiring our coding instructor and other uh, employees that would play an integral role in that program. And also we're interviewing candidates for our program. So anyone who's interested um, in enrolling for Coding Autism's first prototype program, which also will be free for the first 15 students, um, can go on our website, www.codingautism.com, and sign up for the wait list there, where we'll reach out over the next few months about interviews. Amazing, okay. and free for, for the first 15. Correct. Right. Okay. And, and is there a specific age range you're looking for? Do they need to be over 18? Yes, yeah, so ideally we're looking for high school graduates at the minimum. Um, anyone above 18 that is looking to get into the tech industry or they could be someone who's has a current job that they're not satisfied with and wants to transition into the technology industry, okay. those are the type of candidates that we are looking for. And obviously you need to, for this to start, you need to be located in Southern California because they need to it's it's face to face classes. Yeah, so okay. our first offering is face to face classes which will be hosted at Hub 101 in West Lake. Uh, which is just outside of Thousand Oaks in Los Angeles. Um, in the future, we will have online offerings that uh, will cater to anyone around the globe who's interested in our program. But as we are a startup, we're resourceful, and with the way that we want to construct our program, it makes more sense for it to be in person so that we can have our occupational therapists and other personnel on site to navigate the process. Fabulous. And what's the web address again? For your uh, it's at www.codingautism.com. Fabulous. Okay. You're inspirational. Oh, you really are. You're Look at be... you.